the snowflake and the leaf it's written by helen preble the big sky above the hard frozen ground was dark the little stars had hidden their winking yellow eyes and the round old moon had forgotten to shine big black clouds were hurrying past each other back and forth from east to west up on the old oak tree at the corner of the lane a little leaf still clung she was very tiny very brown and very much wrinkled but still she kept a tight hold on the stiff old branch where she had lived all her life she said as she shivered and clung still closer it's going to rain again i'm sure i felt a drop just now but it was not a drop of rain but a soft cold something else which nestled down among the brown wrinkles the leaf stirred and then shivered again What is the matter? asked a sweet voice. I'm very cold, said the leaf. Are you? What makes you cold? asked the voice. Mm, I think it's you, said the leaf, slowly, for she did not want to hurt anyone's feelings. Oh no. I'm sure it's not I. Because I am not cold. And if I made you cold, I would be cold too, wouldn't I? I suppose you would, said the leaf thoughtfully. But anyway, I'm not as warm as I am in the summer time. I'm lonesome too up here alone. That is, I am when you're not here. she added politely what is summer time asked the snowflake i never heard about it it is a very nice time said the leaf hugging the old tree and drawing her tight edges closer it's the time when one is green and soft and warm she added with a sigh i don't believe we have it then up where i live said the snowflake for i never remember being green it's very pleasant in summer went on the leaf the birds perch upon the branches here and sing so sweetly once a robin built a beautiful nest just here where we are now It was a large nest made of hay and threads woven carefully together. One day, after the nest was built and the mother bird had been staying on it nearly all the time, I saw four tiny birds with great big mouths wide open. It seemed to me they were always calling to be fed. and the mother and father were busy from morning to night fetching worms for those hungry little ones but before long they learned to fly and one by one they left the nest and flew out into the world i'm never alone in the summer for the tree is full of leaves but they have all fallen off until only i am left Every time the wind blows I expect to go too. Where will you go? asked the snowflake with much interest. Oh, I shall drop to the ground below and grow smaller and smaller. Then I shall sink down underneath where the new grass is getting ready to sprout in the spring and the violets are waiting for the sun to bid them unfold their buds. Is it nice down there in the dark? asked the snowflake. 
Oh yes, said the leaf. It is very warm and sweet and not a bit lonely for the worms and the bugs and roots and seeds are all busy getting ready for spring. Just then, a heavy gust of wind shook the old oak tree and down fell the little brown leaf and the snowflake too. The snowflake melted at once. but the little leaf waited happily there until she could reach the busy little world under the ground you were listening to tosuno by sneha